guys are busy uh, sweeping and making tea for us. You understand? So, for how long are you going to let people from other countries to come and take over whilst you are sitting there not empowering yourselves? This thing that mathematics is a crisis, mathematics is difficult, it should end, right? It's an apartheid thing that was instilled in black people that they shouldn't be afraid of maths. But now apartheid is over. You people can't blame apartheid because you, are, you were born in a free South Africa and you should use this chance. Then what is the purpose of freedom if you can't be the best you can be? Right? Do you know, has anybody ever heard of the American dream? Yes. The American dream states that anyone who does their best at anything should be able to succeed. That's why you find if 50 Cent is going to rap, he's going to be a billionaire. If Michael Jordan is going to play basketball, he's going to be a billionaire. The idea of freedom is that you have an opportunity to work as hard as you can and be the best you can be. Otherwise, you're wasting Mandela's uh, freedom, right? Those people fought, your fathers, your mothers, right? They suffered under apartheid. And, what I, and look at them, some of your parents did very well. Some of them had bunch of education, but they're doing well. They are, you're, you're all smartly dressed, right? Yes. But now, are you wasting their efforts? Do you really know what went, what went on in apartheid? Do you know that Africa was colonized, all of it? But the worst form of colonialism was in South Africa. It was the worst, you understand? The worst, because you find that in other countries there, there was racism and all that, but they gave you the tools to go to school, right? Now here what they did, they, they made sure that black people don't know anything, right? So we have to change that. We have to change that. And if you don't make a personal decision to say, I am going to change my future, because I am the only one who can change it. Your teacher can't change it, your father can't change it, your friends can't change it, right? And I see some of you there giggling in groups. <coughs> when that metric paper comes, you're not going to write that as a group, you're going to be on your own. And your future is going to be determined by you, you understand? So it's important for you to say, mathematics can be done, anyone can do math, it doesn't matter if you're a boy, if you're a girl, there are so many examples of people who have succeeded. Right? There are so many people who have, who have nothing. The first black woman professor in mathematics, right? Uh, Mrs. Satati, Professor Satati, right? Mama Kelly Satati. She came from social movement with nothing. You understand? With nothing. But she persevered. She persevered and became the best she can be. Right? It's not about your background. Listen, if your parents are poor, it's not you who's poor, it's them, right? That, that, that circumstance should stop you from being the best you can be, right? That should actually be a fuel to give you more energy to say, I am going to make it. Whatever comes my way, I am going to make it because I want a bright future for myself. I don't want to be the guy who's going to be giving coffee to, to other guys who are making money, or the guy who's washing other people's cars, Right? Girls, I know you have a tendency of, 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 of really not believing in yourselves. Right? Thinking you're going to get married, you're going to look for a rich husband and what? Uh, that's being a Makosha. Work for your money. Work for your money. Be the best you can. There are no limits. Right? There are no limits. Now, now success. Listen. Success. Start here. <coughs> Success at anything. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's all about talent. Because there's so many talented people who could have been stars, even in football, even in all everything. But because there was no effort on their part, they did not succeed. So success is a mindset. You would have to tell yourself every morning when you wake up, you tell yourself, I am handsome. I am beautiful. I am intelligent. Yes, I can. Whatever comes my way, I am going to do it. That's, that's what it takes. You might laugh, right? I know some of you think uh, you're not handsome. Some of you think you're not. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you know what? Let me tell you something. 
Uh, okay, whoever disagrees with me, it's your own fault. Do you know that I am the most handsome person I've ever seen? Yes. Wow. Right. Yes. And you yes. too, right? Yes. Tell yourself that. Wow. Right. Hmm? In a sense, wow. it's all about, okay, so the whole idea, when I'm, okay, I'm just using handsome, beautiful, the whole idea is that you should have confidence in yourself. Mm. Because without confidence, you are not going to try out, right? Some of you maybe are public speakers. Some of you maybe are football players. Maybe some of you are artists. But then, because you don't have confidence, you never try. In mathematics, that is the one subject where you need confidence. Because you're going to get answers wrong. You're going to miss difficult questions. But are you willing to sweat it out? Are you willing to sit there and try it out until you understand? Because getting answers wrong is part of the learning process. That is how you learn maths. Even the genius of geniuses, they get answers wrong. It is expected of you to get things wrong, but what you do when you get answers wrong is what matters. <laughs> Mathematics is not passed in the classroom. <coughs> in the class, you have 30, 40 minutes period, right? Where the teacher, yes, whatever hour, whatever, the teacher comes in, gives you principles, gives you examples, you do whatever, but Maths is passed when you get home. What you do outside the maths class is what's going to determine how much you're going to pass. Right? What you do at home. Because maths is not like uh, your history or other subjects. Maths is a doing subject. With maths, you have to have a pen and a paper and calculate. If you don't practice, you are doomed. If you don't practice, you're going to be a loser. Right? So. I want you people, right, to go out when you go back today. Think about it. Think about your future. I know some of you don't even think about your future, right? Think about your future and know that there is hope out there. The doors will open if you're willing to open the doors. If you're willing to knock on the door, it will open. You understand? Yes. Do you get it? Yes. Do you know that 